starting to wonder if I'll ever be able to do something that's not rushed. Hold on a second, I'm gonna grab my bag. Just woke up late again, looked outside. I think there's gonna be a sunrise. Let's go over here. Sorry, the autofocus is probably going nuts because it can't focus on me. <laughs> it's super dark. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a time lapse set up. I think that's like, you guys could probably figure out my routine. Get a time lapse set up, freak out, try to get another time lapse set up, try to take some stills, freak out some more. Realize I got the wrong composition, try it again. Uh, it's good times. I got the 35 on the R5. Get a slightly wider shot of this stuff. All right. Got some lady just walked right through my scene. It's okay, I hadn't started time lapse yet. This is what I wanted though. This is why we're here. I just used the R5, didn't I? I was gonna use my R5 for my stills shot. That's the RP, isn't it? I was going to use the RP second for my still shot. I guess I'm using my R6. Okay, here's the new plan. R6, 100 to 500, pano. So here's, here's what we're looking at. We've got Cook's Peak right there. We've got the horizon is lighting up. There's the Kneeling Nun. And then all the way over to Signal Peak and over Silver City. I'm not sure if any of the Silver City stuff is gonna light up like over town, but I can get a real nice Pano, I was hoping it would light up over Cook's Peak, but it might not. So we're just going to do this. We're going to do vertical Pano. I'm going to lock focus. We're going to take it off of auto ISO. <laughs> Alright, I'll go with 1600 ISO. We're going to take it off of burst mode. Well, I always remember this at the last second. Put it back on single shot. Tripod probably would have been better, but you know how I roll. If I have a tripod right there, why would I want to use it? <laughs> I probably should though. You know what, one thing that I wish, so we're doing more stuff with the 100 to 500. I'll tell you, this is my favorite lens of all time, so far. Like, I knew it would be. There's one thing that I wish, that's a negative, that I wish they would fix. This tripod collar, I really, really wish that they would do that like Tamron does and, and make this an Arca Swiss plate so I could just pop it on. Because now if I want to put it on my tripod, I have to get an actual tripod collar to put on there and who can be bothered with that? All right, so it started to dud out. I kind of thought that might happen, which is why I'm really glad that I grabbed that pano when I did because I think that's pretty much it. No, it's fading. Very weird morning. I'm gonna focus my attention on this. All right, we're going with 500 on this. That's looking really nice. That's gonna be one of those kind of soft, painterly looking things. Oh, it is lighting up over Cook's Peak. Please tell me I put Cook's, I did. If I didn't get Cook's Peak in my time lapse, I would have been sad. It's all the way over to the right though. It's lighting up. All right, let's go back out to 100. It's more of an orangey yellow, but it looks really nice. That gives you that soft painterly feel, which I probably already mentioned. I haven't even had my tea yet. I woke up 
grabbed my cameras and ran out the door. Oh, I need tea. This stuff over Cook's Peak is looking good though. I could get this on a tripod and do a very quick time lapse. Well, the vaccine went good. First dose, I got my second dose coming up a couple more weeks now. No side effects or anything yet. My arm was sore for a couple days, but looking forward to uh, getting fully vaccinated. See, this, that's what I'm talking about. This is annoying. I don't wanna have to do this. So one thing I love about my Tamron lenses, is all their collars are the Arca Swiss. All right, well, now I've committed. Time-lapse, aperture priority mode, F8. Oh shoot. Forgot to take it off. I had the ISO super high. I had it at like 1600. All right, last camera out. Let's see how far we can zoom in. <laughs> All right, that was with my 10X on the phone. <laughs> it's nice that they have the super zooms and all that with the 10 and the 30 and the 100, but I would never use it past 10 for it. Ooh, that's lighting up. Ugh. Not enough cameras. Uh, I could stop you and point you over there. I still have... Look at this. Look how tiny that is. Are you kidding me? That was standing upright in my bag. And just pull it right out there. 70 to 200. It's my second favorite long lens of all time. <laughs> uh, but I'm using this camera. Alright, you know what? This is lame. We're stopping this. And I am gonna put this on. So here's what we're looking at now. There's Cook's Peak looking good. We're at 200. Follow the skyline over. There is Mexico. Oh, nope, sorry, that's not Mexico. That's Dimming, that's the Florida Mountains. There's Mexico. So all of that skyline and those tiny mountains way back there are Mexico. So that was at 40th of a second handheld. I guess at 200 millimeters, I guess we're testing out the uh, image stabilization because that's, that's intense. 200 millimeters, 200th of a second, f5.6, ISO 400 hand holding because I don't want to be bothered to move the tripod 10 feet over there to get away from this tree which is that's all it would take. <laughs> this time lapse is still going. I'm going to do some more videos with and about these two lenses. I'm going to do a review. Um, this is all collecting the data you know using them. This is only the second time I've used this 70 to 200. Only the second time I've used the third time I've used the one to five for the landscape so oh, I got this stuff this pano and this shot I got this shot and this pano yesterday uh, at one of my favorite lookouts by my house it's 10,000 feet up it's called Emory Pass and I love it it handheld it's a 19 image panorama and then the single shot is just the 1 19th of it I posted it on Instagram and I love it I also printed it out real huge. I printed it out at 16 by 20, so I can't wait to see what that looks like. But yeah, that one to five is definitely proving to be my favorite lens of all time, along with this. Really looking forward to doing some backpacking with this. I've got some cool trips planned for way out there in those mountains in the Gila. Very excited. It's gotta warm up a little bit for that though. I'm going pretty far. All right, it's breakfast time. Actually, it's tea time while I make breakfast time. I need to wake up. <laughs> All right, so if you made it this far and watched my uh, sleepy droning on and on, I applaud you, I appreciate it. You should definitely subscribe if you haven't already because I've got new videos every week and uh, most of them have a lot more energy than this <laughs> and probably some more excitement. Uh, 
But yeah, I've got lots of cool stuff coming up. I'm very excited about it. I'm also very excited about tea time. I know I'm talking. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.